Hi everyone, today's video is all about marigold flowers and how you can grow it yourself in the house. It's super amazing and super easy and one of the best um, plants that I love growing in my house. I've got heaps of them that I keep growing every now and then. Um, and this video is all about to tell you uh, how you can do it in your own house uh, with very little or nothing that you need. So, okay, so here's the steps. Um, all you need is um, from somewhere either you get a marigold plant for the first time or if you can get a flower from somewhere um, that's going to be the best you just need one flower the one that you like the best so this is how it starts once the flower is there and it's um, matured and it's drying up and it's completely dried up then it looks something like this so once you know it looks something like this completely dried up all you need to do is open it up so I'll show you over here if you see once I'm opening it up can you see these little um, small you know these individual pieces here all you have to do is sow them uh, you know you, you just have to put these in the soil so I'll show you one that I've just um, I put a couple of days back so this is the one that I had put these dried up leaves um, parts of the flower inside the soil and this was just done six days back right so within six days you'll see that it starts it's come out really decently nicely well enough or maybe let's say within a week right so give it seven days the only thing to be mindful is um, don't put it too much on the surface let it go a little deep inside so that when the roots come out they are a bit stronger and yet yeah, do do, um, do water it on a regular basis don't over water it but yeah just just keep it moist moist and watered enough um, with you know well drained soil I'll show you the next stage of this how it looks like so here's how it would look within just um, this I had put maybe just three weeks back so it's not too long this is about a week into putting it into the soil this is how it will start coming up and then um, they were really tiny but I think so it's the you know it, it needs the right positioning and I'll tell you what the right positioning is also to put these um, in your look I put them in my balcony and yeah they've just this is just three weeks and they're almost uh, if you have a look they're pretty big already and I'll show you what the full-blown version looks like now so as you can see this one's been I put this around a month and a half back now so this one's in a really good um, it's it's got to a really good height there's lots of flowers that are blossoming or coming up you'll see lots of buds coming up and in terms of the positioning um, look for me I think so the best position that I've worked out over the years is that it needs really nice morning sunlight uh, or the morning sun and then in the afternoon it doesn't really require that much sun so if you've got a patch or a place in your house uh, or the balcony or the backyard where you can get enough morning sun rays uh, directly onto the plant and then you know um, for the rest of the day it doesn't require too much sun then so it really likes the morning rays um, to grow nice and strong and beautiful and doesn't dry up then the only thing remember um, do water it regularly um, it does like well drained water um, put it down in the comments if you think that this was helpful um, look this is one of the best plants that I like to you know always plant and carry with me the easiest thing is I just carry a flower with me and um, let it dry up once it's completely dried as I showed you um, all you have to do is just put it into the soil and then water and wait that's it all right enjoy